Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a prolific burglar who armed himself with a spiked broom handle and other pokies while on remand in prison over a spate of break-ins in which he made off with cars and other goods. Jamie Horgan, 26, with no fixed abode but most recently of HMP Altcourse, faced justice today for his catalogue of crimes relating to separate burglary sprees mainly in Widnes and Warrington and a stash of three improvised weapons found stowed in his cell. Philip Asbury, prosecuting, told Liverpool Crown Court how Mr Horgan was on remand when a cell inspection took place on February 15th and he confessed to the guards, I've done enough time, I know how it works, I've got a few pokies down the side of my bed. Prison officers found two smaller weapons, described as metal spikes plus a broom handle with three spikes secured to it with telephone cable wire mesh. His defence barrister, Ian Harris, said these were kept because Mr Horgan had suffered a broken jaw in prison that required it to be wired in place. Mr Asbury said Mr Horgan told officers, there's too many divvies on the wing, I've got to protect myself. Prolific crook, Mr Horgan was in prison waiting to be dealt over separate burglary sprees in which he ransacked homes, a garage and an office, making off with jewellery, cars worth £99.5,000 in total when new and other items such as handbags, purses and their contents during a string of break-ins while his victims slept. In one incident, there were children in the property at the time and another of the householder's elderly parents. Mr Horgan even unwrapped Christmas presents in his search for valuables. In early September, Mr Horgan was involved in a break-in at a kitchen in Runcorn, in which a handbag and car keys for a Ford Fiesta outside were stolen. The car was found in Speak later that morning, with DNA on the steering wheel matching Mr Horgan. Then on October 12th, a Ford Cougar and an Audi A4 were stolen during a burglary at a house in Warrington, and later spotted by automatic number plate recognition camera at around 3am. The Audi was found in Liverpool with Mr Horgan's DNA on the driving controls but the Cougar was never found. On October 15th, car keys to a Mercedes A180 were stolen and a handbag from a house on Nooks Ford Road in Warrington but the car was blocked in by a Mini whose keys had been taken upstairs that night. At a house on Chester Road nearby, a wallet was stolen from another Mercedes along with three bicycles worth £4,350 from a garage two of which were found and returned. A separate security camera at a house on Chester Road filmed Mr Horgan and another hooded figure approach, spot the camera and leave at around 2.30 in the morning. Mr Horgan burgled another house on Chester Road at around 3am when a kitchen window was smashed and an Audi TT, keys and handbag with bank cards were taken. The Audi was found in Speak at around 7pm later that day with Mr Horgan's DNA on the controls. On December 18th, Mr Horgan and two other burglars targeted properties including a barn conversion office on Hale Road in Widnes and Vicarage Close in Hale Village. Items including jewellery, watches and rings worth £4,184 were stolen from one house where CCTV footage enabled a detective to identify Mr Horgan. One woman returned home to find her window smashed and bedroom ransacked including two bin bags of children's Christmas presents unwrapped but the only item stolen was a Nikon camera. A doorbell camera filmed three burglars at a property and again a detective spotted Mr Horgan. CCTV filmed the gang at another house on Hale Road where one burglar stayed outside while two accomplices passed his items from the inside such as a MacBook Pro, a camcorder and a GoPro and tripod and wrapped Christmas gifts, the total value estimated at £3,111. On Vicarage Road in Hales Village, three men were filmed approaching the property before making off with two pedal bikes worth £750 and £800 each. Although their faces were covered, a detective was able to identify Mr Horgan. Mr Horgan was arrested but escaped custody only to be found at a friend's house in Speak. Although he gave no common answers in interview with Cheshire Police and initially pleaded not guilty to one charge, Mr Horgan later pleaded guilty to four house burglaries, burglary of an office, one attempted house burglary, two garage burglaries, two counts of handling stolen goods and one theft. Mr Horgan was already unlicensed having been released from prison over a previous stretch for burglary. 
Mr. Apri told how victims experienced feelings of having their homes violated and sense of security undermined and a sense of fear on behalf of their children and elderly parents who had been present in two of the cases. Mr. Horgan had 19 previous court appearances for 41 offences including burglary, handling stolen goods, dishonesty, criminal damage and a court order breaches and he was even disqualified from driving at a time of the burglary spree. Mr. Harris said his client had pleaded guilty and was still comparatively young, warning that a long prison sentence could lead to him being institutionalized and crushed the hope of being able to reform. Describing Mr. Horgan's criminality, he said, in my submission, it's immaturity and the prospect of gain that tempted him to continue committing offenses. Mr. Harris said Mr. Horgan's prison weapons were intended as pokers or prodders for delivering a short, sharp shock, but conceded who knows what would happen if matters got out of hand. Mr. Harris noted how long Mr. Horgan had already served on remand. Judge David Ubri, QC, presiding, said he would have branded Mr. Horgan's crimes as a one-man crime spree were it not for Mr. Horgan's accomplices. Judge Aubrey gave consecutive sentences on each separate of set of offences and jailed Mr. Horgan, who appeared via video link for seven years and five months. He said Mr. Horgan's burglaries had involved premeditation that was irrespective of harm and anxiety. He would cause a considerable amount of ransacking. Sending Mr. Horgan down, the judge said you were able and intended and succeeded in obtaining a number of occasions of high value cars, firstly by breaking into their houses. I emphasize at night, I emphasize while occupiers were in bed. You cared not about those occupiers. The judge added, there are a number of aggravating features that are a hallmark of these offenses. Premeditation, planning, on occasion being with others, some of the houses were being ransacked, all committed at night whilst occupiers were asleep in bed. Fortunately, on no occasion whatsoever was there any confrontation, but in consequence of the offences that were committed each and every occupier of each and every dwelling house perceived rightly that their home had been violated, their space and privacy invaded. The judge also ordered Mr. Horgan to pay a victim surcharge. What do you think of Mr. Horgan and his intentions behind gaining valuables without any concern or thought for their owners? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.